हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूपीएससी लॉजिक्स एंड माय नेम इज सिद्धार्थ एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रधानमंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि और द पीएम किसान सो वी शैल बी हैविंग अ लुक एट द फीचर्स एंड कंडीशंस फॉर रिसीविंग द सिक्स थाउजेंड रुपीज दैट मोदी गवर्नमेंट हैज जनरली बेस्टाउड अपॉन द पुअर फार्मर्स ऑफ आर कंट्री सो लेट एस बिगिन दिस टॉपिक बाय लुकिंग एट अ लिटिल क्लिप So let us understand this particular scheme with the help of this farm. So this is Lalu Lal and he's the owner of this farm. So he's got a buffalo, he's got some chickens, he's got a horse and he grows tomatoes and carrots. And he has got a 2 hectare farm and now he has become eligible for this scheme which is the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme and now what he's going to get is 6000 rupees annually. So this money shall be coming to him in three installments of two thousand rupees each every four months, and this will enable him to buy manure and other supplies for his farmland, so that he can grow better crops. And this will also help him to get protected from the clutches of the money lender, who have been generous enough to provide him with money to meet such kind of expenses like buying manure for his farmland and other supplies. So this is the basic crux of this particular scheme. So who are going to benefit under the scheme? These are the people or the farmer families who have a total cultivable holding up to two hectares, and they shall get a benefit of six thousand rupees per annum per family, payable in three equal installments for every four months. So the first installment for the eligible beneficiaries during this financial year 2018-19. Shall be from a period of 1st of December to 31st of March 2019, and Modi government has kept around 20,000 crores for this particular phase, and then there is another 75,000 crores that has been allocated for this particular scheme. So this money shall go directly into the bank accounts of the farmers, and basically there are around 12 crore families which have been estimated to have a Land holding of two hectares, and they are the people who are going to get benefit of this six thousand rupees per annum. So let us have a look at the exclusions who are not eligible for this particular scheme. So all the higher income group beneficiaries have been excluded from the scheme, and these include all institutional land holders, then all the farmer families who have got one or more members in the following categories. So the former and present holders of constitutional post. then any kind of minister whether it is with lok sabha rajya sabha state legislative assemblies state legislative councils etc and the former and present chairperson of district panchayat so all these people have been excluded then all the serving and retired officers and employees of central state government ministries offices departments and its field units have been excluded and although the lower ranking staff like the multitasking staff or the class 4 or the group d employees are still eligible to get benefit under this scheme then all superannuated retired pensioners whose monthly pension is rupees 10000 or more so this again is for the people who have got 2 hectares of land farmers who have got 2 hectares of land but they have got a, a retirement from the government and they are retired pensioners for example there are lot of soldiers who have retired and now they are getting a pension of rupees 10000 or more so they are not employable by the scheme and this also excludes the multitasking staff class 4 group d employees so all the persons who have paid income tax in the last assessment year are also excluded so anybody or any farmer who has got a income that on which he has paid at income tax so he has been excluded from this particular scheme and professionals like doctors engineers lawyers chartered accountants and architects registered with professional bodies and carrying out profession by undertaking practices so these people are also excluded so basically any doctor engineer lawyer who has got 2 hectares of land and he is doing farming on it so he shall also not be able to avail the benefit of this scheme so there are a number of cases in which uh, the benefit is given and let us have a look at few of these scenarios so number one is in case land holding of 10 hectare is owned by a single farmer family so there is no benefit 
In the case where the same 10 hectares is owned by five families owning two hectares each, so each family shall get 6,000 rupees each month, uh, annually. Then in case there is a land holding of 16 hectares owned by 12 families with four families owning one hectare each and eight families owning 1.5 hectares, so 6,000 shall be given to each of the families. In case the land holding of 1.8 hectares, in different parcels owned by family members are spread across different revenue records in the same or different villages. So there is a total land holding of 1.8 hectares that has been registered under different names of the same family. So they shall also get 6000 rupees for each family. Then in case the land holding is of 10 hectares and it is owned by four families, one owning 5.5 hectares and the other three owning 1.5 hectares. So the family owning 5.5 hectares shall get no benefit while the other three families shall get 6000 rupees each annually and if the land has been sold recently and this has been done on account of sale or succession on or before 5th of january 2019 so a proportionate benefit of the first installment for two months and 25 days only shall be eligible for the new landowner and in case the landowner has 1.5 hectares of cultivable land but the spouse of the landowner is one of is one in one of the exclusion list so then there is no benefit as well so this brings us to the end of this particular scheme and although this scheme aims at benefiting the farmers the 6000 rupees is not going to help them in the long run and in fact the PM Shur Kisan Samman Nidhi I think is a failure of a scheme because the money is so less that the farmers will not be able to do anything with it. So anyways this was the pros and cons of this particular scheme and thank you so much for watching and Jai Hind.